I feel like I shared on Sunday morning at church, um, I was leading worship and I shared that I feel like it's the times when there's uncertainty and hardship that I feel God the most because I'm so dependent on him. You know, like I look at our budget and I look at our money and I look at our children and I'm like, well, we're going to be as wise as we can be and we're going to know that God's going to pull us through this because he always does and he's a good father and he provides for us, you know. Had some Cheetos and they were really yummy. I hope you guys are good. We are just hanging out. It's Friday and I haven't vlogged or done any kind of sit down videos in a long time. Um, so I wanted to sit down and catch up with you guys and chat. I really have been wanting to do like a fall favorites video because I feel like those are my favorite videos to do. Fall themed videos. Hey. Oh, okay, you're just playing. Sometimes when they're playing, they're like fighting when they're playing, like pretend fighting when they're playing with like their little people and I think they're really fighting and so then I'm about ready to like step in but then I realize they're just, they're just playing. So we went to library class today and um, the kids are playing now. We went outside for a little bit. It's like 80 degrees in October, which I am not complaining about because I live in Michigan, so I know it's probably going to be snowing in like a week or something. But I just feel like I haven't caught up with you guys for a while, and I hate leaving my channel like empty. But lately, I just have been really pulled to focus on my family and focus on my kids. And I found that I have a hard time balancing. Like if I start uploading a lot of content to my channel, if I'm, he wants to nurse right now. It's real life. Hey buddy, not right now. Can you come up here and say hi with me? We'll nurse in just a minute before bedtime, okay? For some reason, he has been like crazy wanting to nurse 24 seven lately. I don't know what's going on. In a little bit, say hi. Hi, he's talking now. Jude, say mama. Mama. Mama, see I got Cheetos on my face. Cheetos on my face. He grew so much, you guys. In like the last two weeks, he's been talking, he's been saying words, he's getting so big. I just, I can't deal, you guys. I just can't deal. I just feel like he's getting so, so big. So anyways, I've been really trying to focus on my family and I found that when I'm filming a lot, then I'm wanting to get it edited and get it uploaded and I have a hard time balancing that like I just have to get it all done at one time so that every single night I'm editing and every single night I'm <gasps> Hey, I just have a hard time balancing you know so I'm trying to I need to really sit down and make a schedule especially because I'm homeschooling um, Fiona right now which I use that term very loosely she's four and you know we are like ABCs, coloring, having fun, because that's what four-year-olds do, you know what I'm saying? Um, but nevertheless, I'm trying to have structure and trying to, you know, just make that a priority. And then also my house, I feel so much better having my house in order, staying on top somewhat, I use that term loosely, of like my, look at that face. Anyways, I've been, I've been um, really trying to stay on top of my house so that on the weekend when John comes home, um, you know, when we get to spend time together as a family, that my house is somewhat in order. Guys, guys, Ezra, Ezra. Exhibit A, like seriously. It's just, I don't know how, um, I don't know how to juggle. Like, my kids are so little and they demand so much attention and especially being home with them. Um, and not having any help during the day like it's it's so impossible for me to have balance in my life as far as like having consistent content up here goes like I it's crazy and then if I want to have like sanity at nighttime or be able to see John um, when they're in bed it's impossible you know if I'm if I'm editing every single night to get content up um, so I'm just trying to like figure out a schedule and if I've got something written down that I can see it's easier for me to say okay Tuesday night I'm filming Thursday night I'm editing I am uploading to millennial moms right now and I do four videos a month for them so four videos to film and edit and get to them consistently that's a lot of work but it also is important for me to upload to you guys because you got this is like my hobby you know and this is my community so I don't know I'm just trying to you know juggle it all 
amidst the crazy stuff happening. Like I mentioned in my postpartum video, I did a video on um, just kind of my journey through postpartum depression. And I mentioned I've been on medication and I feel really great. I feel um, a lot more motivated. Um, we did have an income cut for our family. Hopefully it's just temporarily, but it was significant. So we're trying to figure out as far as like budgeting goes and we're really pulling back on things more so than what we even were before. We're trying to kind of navigate through right now and be wise with um, trying not to stress about and just know that God's our provider and that everything's gonna be fine, but it's something that we're walking through right now. Thumbs up if you guys can feel me with money fun because it's always fun but um but it's good though and it really takes I feel like I shared on Sunday morning at church um, I was leading worship and I shared that I feel like it's the times when there's uncertainty and hardship that I feel God the most because I'm so dependent on him you know like I look at our budget and I look at our money and I look at our children and I'm like well we're gonna be as wise as we can be and we're gonna know that God's gonna pull us through this because he always does and he's a good father and he provides for us, you know? So that's been something that's kind of been happening in our family right now. What else is happening? John's got like seven more months left of seminary, which is really cool. I'm excited. He's excited. Our family is excited. We're just um, happy for that season. I wanna eat something. You want what? Something. We just ate something. This little one needs a haircut. You need a haircut, Baba? Yeah. What? Yeah. I need a haircut. You need a haircut? <laughs> All right. Can you say see you guys later? See you guys later. I'm going to get them down for quiet time naps and then we'll talk later. All right, you guys. Everybody is sleeping or quiet in their bedrooms right now knock on wood um, we went to target earlier and I had to get diapers and I always they have like the buy two packs get a $10 gift card I'm always like yes I will do that so I can get coffee my coffee's all watered down though no I don't even have any ice in it anymore but I don't care I don't care you guys know if it's coffee it's coffee it doesn't matter if it's cold it doesn't matter if it's hot it doesn't matter it's coffee and it's gonna help me get through the day you know um I didn't know I want to do like a separate video on this because this is probably gonna be long-winded. Mm. I have gotten a couple questions on one, the medication that I'm on, and two, because we are considering having another baby, would I stay on that medication during my pregnancy or would I get off of it? I'm on Prozac. We had to kind of adjust my dosage. It took a few months for me to figure out exactly what I felt good on. And I am breastfeeding being on it. That was something that I kind of was, I debated. I went back and forth, um, but it came down to, I need to feel the best that I can for my kids. And um, Jude nurses. And for me personally, I felt okay given what I'd read, what I've um, reviewed online, like researched. Um, I felt okay. I felt all right with him nursing with me being on Prozac. I felt like it was the best option for me. The second half of that is will I get off of the medication before I have another baby? So if I get pregnant again or before? And my answer to that is most likely no. Um, I know that this is definitely like some people are totally like, oh my gosh, what you're gonna be on an antidepressant while you're pregnant? And then some people probably feel me. But for me personally, I struggle with depression during my pregnancy in general. All of my pregnancies, I have gone through depression, especially in the first and third trimester. And it's just the hormonal influx mixed with being sick all the time and just feeling like crap. And that's just something I've always dealt with during my pregnancies. And it's something that is not fun and I'm very aware of, as well as postpartum depression. Hormones just really impact me huge. So looking forward and knowing that we plan to continue to add to our family means that I need to make an informed decision on what's best for me, what's best for the care and well-being of my children, um, my marriage, and just the functioning of my house. I feel comfortable being on it if I get pregnant again simply because of the research I've done. I know people personally that I've been on antidepressants. That's something that I feel like I'm going to trust God with. That, um, you know, if I'm going to get pregnant and this is where I'm at in life right now, I'm going to do the best that I can on my part to 
stay mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, spiritually and physically healthy. And if that means being on a medication because um, I need help with my serotonin levels, then that's what it means. And I'm gonna just pray and do everything that I can um, for that baby's health and trust that God's got that baby in the palm of his hand. Obviously, no one wants to be medicated during a pregnancy when they're growing a little baby, you know? But the bigger picture of it is the fact that um, it's just the reality of where I'm at right now. It's the reality of my family and um, we do want to have another child and so if that happens in the spectrum of me being on medication then I'm going to probably just stay on it because I got to feel good and I got to take care of my children and um, myself and the baby inside of my belly by keeping myself healthy and feeling good so that is probably what will happen so that is kind of where we're at right now um, that was kind of like a heavy topic to end this with but I did have questions about it and so I just thought about it so I figured I'll just touch on it real quick I am going to try to edit this and upload this today for you guys so um, I got something up this week I hope you guys are all good I hope that you're all blessed and you have a good weekend comment down below and let me know what you guys are doing this weekend